Let's face it, a cat's cuteness factor helps it get away with a lot. Sure, you'd probably prefer it if a furry paw didn't knock everything off the table, but it's hard to stay mad at your adorable, curious little housemate. As close as you and your kitty are, there are a ton of common myths out there about cats that aren't true. Everyone has an opinion, and some people believe cats should be kept as their ancestors were. Allowed to roam outside, kill small animals, and potentially die a horrible death. Keeping a cat indoors is cruel, they say. Well, they're wrong. According to feline behaviorist Jane Ehrlich, pet cats should 100% be kept inside. Indoor cats aren't at risk of being hit by a car, being snatched by a predator, getting trapped somewhere, or being exposed to something that will make them sick. They're also going to be more well-adjusted, psychologically speaking, because they're not always on edge and looking for danger around every corner. As long as indoor cats have access to toys, cat trees, places they can climb and hide, and a safe, interactive environment, they'll live not just long lives, but happy ones. If you've come home to an empty food dish and a yowling cat, you know you're only good for one thing, opening the cat food. But a study from Oregon State University tried to find out what cats prefer most in their lives. According to Science Direct, they took two groups of cats, pet cats and cats from shelters, and presented them with options of food, socializing with a human, or playing with a toy. By the end of the tests, they found the majority of cats would opt for attention from the human even over some tasty food. Toys and scent stimuli didn't even stand a chance, and while there were differences between individual cats, there wasn't a statistical difference between the pet cats and the shelter cats. Consider this next time your cat gets mouthy when you come home. He may just be mad you were gone so long. Talk to a cat person and they'll insist cats are smarter. Talk to a dog person and it's canine brilliance that'll be touted. Both are wrong and here's why. The first part of the answer is simply that we don't know how smart cats are because, well, they're cats. One of the world's foremost experts in animal cognition laughed when Slate asked him if he'd worked with cats. It was easier to work with fish, he said. Cats are just programmed differently. They described dogs as being tuned to a single frequency or channel all the time, while cats are channel surfers. Not smarter, not dumber, just different in a way we don't understand yet. According to the BBC, researchers from Kyoto University took some major steps in deciphering cat thoughts in 2017. When they tested cats, dogs, and their capacity for memory, they found both animals performed equally well. If you've ever left work in the morning and come home to find your cat in the exact same spot, you'd probably see that as proof cats are lazy. They're not. While it's true they appear to be sleeping for as much as 16 hours a day, cat behavior associates say they usually aren't really sleeping. Most of the snooze time is spent in a sort of doze, where all the senses are still alert and listening for prey, predators, or the crinkle-crinkle of a treat bag. They're not exactly on high alert, but could still respond quickly if something interesting happens nearby. According to Vet Street, there's a biological reason little mittens need so much downtime. Diet. Cats are meat eaters, and long periods of rest or near rest help their digestive systems handle all that protein. Researchers have been trying to unlock the secrets of cat communication for a long time. But not surprisingly, cats don't like to cooperate. According to the BBC, it's only fairly recently they learned where the purr originates a neural oscillator tucked away in the depths of the cat brain. One feline psychology researcher found that different cats purr differently under different circumstances. Sure, they purr when they're happy and content, but they also purr when they're alone or with other cats. Other cat psychologists suggest it's not an involuntary reaction, but a type of communication that starts when they're kittens. Purring helps them tell mom they're hungry, and that probably has something to do with why many purr when their human parents feed them. There are a ton of theories about the different kinds of cat purrs, including a nifty one about a purr that resonates at the same frequency bones heal. The theory is that when Kitty curls up with someone who has a headache or injury and starts purring away, they might be trying to help.